it's a fairly simple melody, so once you get it, please feel free to <laughs> sing along. And here we go. From the surface of the brain and the arachnoidal membrane grows a dural neoplasm. Meningioma is its name. As a tumor of adults with sharp margins and slow growth, it may require the gamma knife or surgery alone. But I, I do think there's more than a chance association with people who are in sciences and medicine and uh, a kind of a proclivity towards music. Um, I've just uh, known quite a few people uh, in medicine who were, you know, uh, phenomenal pianists or cellists or, or whatever. There mm -hmm. seems to be more than the average thing. I think the genes must be closely linked mm -hmm. somewhere. Atypical meningiomas recur quite frequently. Anaplastic cases have a high mortality. It is not common that anybody who teaches in a curriculum has a voice like Ari's and the ability to make them these creative songs that help you learn neuropathology is pretty engaging for students. It's pretty funny uh, and it's pretty uh, fun to learn in that way. This came about many years ago. It wasn't something I thought of initially. It's seen commonly in NF2 and there's often a female skew. So I think the first time I saw Ari give one of these uh, performances was when I was a medical student. It was one of his first years teaching uh, using this method. I was a resident and we had a weekly conference uh, where we presented cases to our attendings. And uh, one of the weeks, uh, one of the attendings said that the residents just weren't entertaining enough. So then I had the idea at that point uh, to do a, a song about one of the cases. Cases graded as atypical have a distinct proclivity to display brain invasion or mitotic activity. From an educational perspective, as an educator, some people would feel that this is, you know, gimmicky, if you will. But there's, there's good data to suggest that when you come up with these more creative ways to engage the learner in material, that people learn it and retain it much better. Uh, I found that a lot of our students in the Brain, Mind, and Behavior course are listening to recordings of these songs as they try to prepare for an exam and are whistling them down the hallway. So it's certainly an effective way to get some facts that need memorization to a bunch of learners. Once you do get something like that in your brain, uh, it tends to stay there a lot longer. Uh, and I think the reason for that is that musical memories get laid down with an emotion behind them. If you think back of your childhood days and learning the ABCs, uh, you probably never forget the alphabet song. A common tumor from the surface of the brain Meningioma is its name All right. There's the lecture. Any questions?